what's going on welcome back to the channel chad here and uh we just got finished with the announcement of the new altel lineup uh the altel Nan nano and the altel uh light now um it appears that there is uh two versions of each uh series or two versions of the nano and two versions of the light uh, i wanted to go over the specs of the nano uh, because I will be purchasing the Nano and um, may purchase the light later on, but uh, I just want to focus on the Nano. I do have a couple guests with me uh, to help me, you know, uh, go over these these specs that just came out. Um, so I'm going to bring in uh, QC Guy and Don from uh, Little Mountain Life. What's going on, guys? Can you hear me? I mean, on, can you hear me now? Can you hear you now? Loud. Can oh, okay. I? Y'all can hear you now. All right. So what's going on? Not much. Not much. Uh, we all look very familiar. If anybody watched my live, because we were all together. Mm -hmm. Now, now we're doing this little rendition. Can yeah. I buy my nano yet, Chad? I don't know. Can you? Because uh, I didn't see any prices. Um. We did see a lot of specs. I'm trying to work on something. I'll just tell you that right now. I'm trying to work on something. Just keep on going. Oh, okay. I got right. some stuff on the website here. Oh, you do? There's no okay. prices on. There's no prices showing, but the website is a little clearer now, easier to navigate since we were on it. So, run with that if you want. Oh, okay. So uh, we're just gonna. I'm going to. Uh, you going to share your screen, Don? Yeah, sure. I can share it. Okay, and we're going to go over some of these specs that we just found out. <clears throat> All right, here we go. All so right, what we so got yeah. Here, Don? Okay. It's the Nano and the Light. You got both of them there. Scroll down here. So we're going to talk about the Nano. Now you can see uh, the 249 for the weight. And uh, yeah, here's some sensor specs. You want to read through that? Yes. Let me just bring up my uh, screen here. So is that the uh, Nano Plus? Yeah, we got the Nano Plus. Nano Plus. So the Nano Plus uh, is the <clears throat> is going to have a uh, larger sensor, a one over one point two eight sensor, with a fifty megapixel photo uh, capability. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the RYYB color um, filter. Does anybody know anything about that? R Y Y B. Um, yeah. No. Oh, okay. And then also no. one, another another big thing is, is going to have a uh, f one point. It looks like a f one point nine uh, aperture, which is a pretty you know wide aperture. Um, pretty good for low light. So that's for the Evo Nano Plus, and then down here we've got the Evo Nano, a little bit different. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, the other version, Evo Nano, uh, comes with a 48 megapixel um, camera and uh, capable of shooting four point, um, excuse me, 4K at 30 frames per second um, with a, I believe it has a, it says right here on the camera, f2.8 aperture. Now, I'm not sure if this other... If the other version, the Nano Plus, if you can scroll back up there, the Nano Plus, I'm not sure if it's 2.7K or if it's at 4K. It didn't actually indicate it doesn't what indicate, the resolution yeah. is, but um, hopefully it is 4K. All right, so scrolling on down, um, you see the many colors uh, that they offer. Uh, what colors are these? Chris, um, you have uh, Altel orange, and then the white is Arctic white, mm -hmm. and then your gray is deep space gray, and then the red was blazing red. Okay, blazing, blazing, blazing. Yeah, I think that red is. I don't know. The red is sticking out to me. I kind of. I'm liking the white. I'm liking the white with the gray. The stormtrooper white. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. 
Nice. I like the gray though with the yellow on the front too. I'm, but I, I mean, with all the DJIs, you, I've got I've seen enough gray. I think so. I like the white. Okay. All right. So scrolling on from here. Um, so what kind of features does this have? Uh, see here, it says Sky Portrait. Don, you know anything about this here? Yeah, it's just uh, I've, I've heard that DJI has done this before. I'm not as familiar with their higher end drones, but here in the lower end nano with the Sky Portrait feature, you know, we're hopefully getting the, the blurred background, the bokeh effect with like portrait photography. Um, so they have some samples on the website, but right now they're just kind of breaking it down. Um, just the idea of taking something nice and small, but still being able to get some quality portrait shots with it. And then it also talks about uh, subject tracking with the Dynamic Track 2.1. Um, so you can follow person, animal, or vehicle. Um, so okay. that's pretty cool. Yeah, that is cool. All right, so uh, some more additional features they have here. Um, of course, you you know you can't have a smart drone without you know your smart features. So uh, it looks like they have uh, what is similar to Quick Shots. Um, and now, what were you saying, Don, about these? Uh, it actually, it looks like uh, the drone eater rocket, and yep. uh, I guess the the orbit point of interest. Yep, the point, point of interest of orbit. And, and then, then you kind of got like the helix spiral next okay. to it. Okay. Yeah, I know they have different names for for their mm -hmm. quick shots or whatever you want to call it, smart functions. But yep. I can't really, uh, I don't think they have it up here. And then just like DJI, they've kind of got things built into the app to help you quickly edit um, with, their, with the templates and then share them to social media. Oh, okay. Yeah, that, that's cool. All right, so moving on to something that I think is pretty big, uh, and I think uh, you know everyone else will agree. Uh, it looks like you can get uh, 2.7K transmission, um, video transmission back to your phone, 2.7K at 30 frames per second, uh, which I think is you know amazing nice. because uh, the norm at most is uh, 1080P. Yeah. Um, and I think there's some other stuff on here. <laughs> what do you think about these guys? That's yeah, I mean, like, that's big. Mm. Yeah. And the, the range is plenty. It's got a 6.2 mile transmission with 2.7 K. That's, that's plenty for anybody <laughs> around me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, this, this is just video feed they're talking about. So, I mean, that's mm -hmm. that type of range. That's nice. That's really nice. All right. Um, also, what I noticed, uh, I'm, I usually see two uh, frequencies up here, but I actually see three, uh, 2.4, the 5.8, and they also have 5.2 gigahertz. Now, um, I know OcuSync is, you know, dual band, which is 2.4 and 5.8, but I haven't seen 5.2. Um, you know, anybody know anything about that? No, <laughs> no. That's the first time I've seen that. Yeah, yeah that, that I'm is, sorry. Yeah. I'm, I'm not being rude. I'm, I blanked out. I'm, I'm bringing something in that we'll talk about whenever you get to it. No, so, uh, I'm, okay. I don't is know. it something good? Mm, yeah. No, oh, okay. All right. Depends All right. on how well, much money you want to spend. Oh snap. <laughs> Well, I just found this cool thing with the, with the controller. You want me to talk about that real yeah, quick? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, so apparently they're calling this sonar sound, and they're going to have a microphone built into the, the controller. Mm -hmm. So it says, record voices and ambient sounds in the ground through the remote control's built-in microphone. So, hey, that's oh, that's kind of new. Yeah. 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 So you just record sound? And is it like a two-way? No. No, it's just it's just recording this the sound okay. around you where you're recording right there, oh, and then okay. it's also got at the top here. It talks about uh, quickly downloading your uh, footage at 160 megabits per second. Yeah. So uh, that's that's pretty decent uh, upload speeds. Yeah. All right. So one of the big things uh, that a lot of people wanted for a long time in in these mini drones is the obstacle avoidance. Um, as you can see here, the the Nano is going to offer three-way obstacle avoidance, you know, front, rear, 
and uh, the bottom. So um, that, and this is all offered to you under 249 grams. And that's something I should have said in the beginning. This is all under 249 grams, um, which actually puts you under uh, the weight limit, I guess, um, in most countries. Mm -hmm. So uh, so you don't have to register. Uh, some countries you still have to register, but it actually um, gives you a little bit more advantage. Uh, with yeah, more freedoms to fly more, more places. More freedoms to fly, yeah. So um, this is pretty big. Uh, obstacle avoidance, I'm not really too much into the obstacle avoidance. Um, I really don't use it that much. Um, I don't, I never really had a need to use it. I mean, th th at most I would use side obstacle avoidance because of, you know, doing, you know, uh, point of interest rotations and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. But um, as far as front and back, I really don't use it, but it's, you know, it's, it's something new. It's something um, that they're offering on here, which, you know, I'll take regardless. So I would much rather them just skip the back and put them on the side. Yeah. Put them on the side. Yeah. Oh that, man. That would have been nice. Yeah. Yeah. And that would have been, that would have been a big deal because nobody's doing just that. Exactly. True. Yeah. The side, yeah, the side, I mean the, the rear, I, I don't see why you would need the rear anyway, but maybe um, for like the droney, when you do the automated and it's backing up, True. So it's got to be able to detect running into a tree behind it kind of thing. Mm, yeah, yeah. True. So moving on to the uh, battery life. Uh, the specs are saying it's 28 minutes. Uh, so we all know that these specs are in perfect conditions and everything. So uh, you can probably, my guess, expect maybe 25, 24 yeah. minutes of flight time um, at max. All right, guys. Uh, so... That was the, the nano in a nutshell. Uh, what are your final thoughts on this? Looks pretty sweet. I'm probably going to get one, to be honest. I just, I don't know how much it's going to cost with batteries and all that kind of stuff. Oh, okay. What about you, Chris? Um, I say check your emails. Yeah. Uh, why? What's up? Just check your emails. You want, you want to uh, see how much money you're going to spend? Oh yeah, that, that was no another way. thing. Yeah, can yeah, you was, put in put your email up on screen? Tell me, uh, Don. Can you do that? Yeah, I got you. All right. Let me know when you go. Let me just say thank you. And like, if you subscribe and you want to make you want to see if you got the email or you missed it, because I didn't have the email. <laughs> I was waiting for pricing um, from Robbie, and then I got two emails almost back to back. One was from M and T Drone Solutions. And that's uh, Mitchell. And the other one was Maddie, uh, Matt Cundiff. Uh, both of them almost instantly around the same time sent me the same email forward, forwarded from Autel, and it gives all the pricing. Oh, okay. man, it's got everything right here. Okay. Have, yeah, yep. let, me switch, uh, let me switch over to your... your... Okay. Yeah, here we go. A little different so... than what we talked about. Scrolling through specs. Oh, there's a first price. Oh, nice. See it? What is that? Six forty nine for the Evo Nano. That's regular Nano. Yep. Mm. Pretty minute fly time. Uh, <clears throat> what do you think? You think that's reasonable or what? I mean, I'm not complaining too much. I'm just concerned about the battery pricing, which I don't think we're going to find out for a while. But mm -hmm. compared to like. The other things that are out there right now, and we don't have any idea what the DJI Mini 3 is going to cost, I, I guess this is about right. Okay. Hopefully. Uh... I mean, it's a little on the higher side than what we originally were seeing from the, the guesstimates of prices, mm -hmm. which for that base, that, that base right there was what, $500? So, yeah, the, the guess we saw, yeah. $150 yeah, that more. That's why I don't like the guesses because now it's kind of like, Arr. yeah, you know, I was good with the $500. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> right. There's more down here. Let me see. Cause like Don said though, batteries. Mm -hmm. Check this out. Damn. The nano plus. 
seven ninety nine. Holy crap! <laughs> that ain't cheap. No, it's not. So that puts it at the highest priced mini nano. Yes. Oh yeah, by a long mm-hmm. shot. I mean, no, we don't no. know what DJI is putting out on the three yet, though. What what their price will be, but did you say the highest price mini? Yeah, the highest price mini drone that we have now. Oh, the highest. Pr- okay, yeah. I thought you meant yeah. the DJI mini. At the I said price. yeah. I said the mini nano. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because it's in it's in the class of the minis, but they they stepped out by calling it nano, which I'm very happy they did instead of saying mini. Yeah, that was clever. <laughs> All right, so seven nine seven ninety nine uh, for the nano. Uh, I did see something that said the light down there. I'm yep. not going to get too we much into the light, the light uh, but let's check out those prices there real quick. There's the first one. The standard light comes in eleven forty nine. Okay. And then there's also a second version, just like the nano has a plus. There's a Evo Light Plus for twelve forty nine. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean. I guess that sounds reasonable for that that type mm. of um, that type of drone, um, but you know that's you know the twelve forty nine right there is like the price for a fly more combo for the Air Two S. You know what I mean? Yep. So, but the Air Two S does it does that have an adjustable aperture? No, you're right. You're true. Yeah. So there you go. Yeah, and I think this one has is this a bigger sensor on this one too? One inch CMOS. I don't know. One inch, yeah, the same one. So, same one. Yep. Yeah. So uh, I will leave, leave links in the description for more information on the Evo Light, uh, so you guys can check it out. Like I said, I'm not going to get too much into, um, you know, the light because I won't be purchasing that uh, right offhand. Uh, but what is interesting is uh, that at the end of this entire thing here, it says coming fall 2021. So um, technically, it is fall right now. So I'm not sure uh, if this later, if this is actually going to be uh, shipping out. You know, probably later in October, maybe at the hopefully. end of the month. Yeah. So hopefully, well, I mean, this just says stay tuned for product updates. Like, uh, that yeah. doesn't mean availability. Yeah, could be so, anything. That's an open. That's an open window for them. It could yeah. be the last day of November. <laughs> yeah, it could be. So, all right, guys. Uh, so that is the um, Nano in a nutshell, and um, I appreciate you guys helping me out with this and uh, going over these specs. Any final thoughts on this before we before we uh, sign off here? Go ahead, Chris. Uh, I am still uh, still excited for the light myself, even though the price is higher than I expected. But uh, my biggest final thought would be just need to see what battery prices are going to be because I'm not seeing anything with a multiple package, like a fly more type package or anything. So that that that's a concern pricing. Yeah, I, I gotta agree. the The battery pricing with their history with like the Evo two and whatnot. Uh, hopefully it's not too crazy because you've got like the mini two, the DJI mini two battery is 55 bucks. So I, I hope they keep it at a hundred or less. Um, but either way, I'm going to get the drone cause I need it for some, uh, international travel coming up. So it is what it is. Nano sometime soon. <laughs> nice. All right. So yeah. Um, as far as I'm concerned, I, uh, you know, it's a little pricey to me, uh, but you know, I most likely will get the nano, um, the nano plus, uh, maybe I have to take out a second mortgage or something to get it, but (laughs) what I will be getting it, it, it's, it's something other than, you know, DJI and it'll be my first Autel drone. So, um, that would be interesting. So I'm looking forward to, you know, getting this. So, uh, but like I said before, I appreciate you guys helping me out. Um, be sure I'm going to leave a link to Don's channel in the uh, description. If you guys are into homesteading, he is a uh, he has a homestead channel, very uh, good homestead channel. And oh, thanks, um, man. <laughs> go out there, uh, you know, go ahead and click on the link and um, 
you know, check out his channel. Uh, he's also a drone enthusiast, so that's why he's, you know, on this channel. And he's very active in the community. Um, so uh, go ahead and check him out. Uh, QC guy, you already know this guy. Uh, you already know him. Boring. So, uh, <laughs> you don't have to. Uh, I'll leave his link down in the description anyway. Just for the hell of it. But anyway. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. <laughs> but um, if you guys uh, like this type of content, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up um, because it does help you to push it out to more people like you who are searching for content just like this. So um, also, if you um, if you like this channel, if you like uh, if you visit the channel and you like what you see, go ahead and hit that uh, subscribe button and that notification bell. Uh, so you don't miss any of my content. And uh, with that said, you guys fly safe, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.